So if your Google Ads account was suspended due to suspicious uh, payments, then there's a couple of things that you're going to want to check that most likely led to uh, this issue arising. The first and most common reason that you get this notice is if you use your payment information in one account and then you take that payment information and transfer it into a second Google Ads account. So each Google Ads account that you have, if you have multiple, is going to be under an email address. So let's say you have example at gmail.com is your one email address and example2 at gmail.com is your second. So that's essentially two different accounts. Well, if you're using the exact same billing information in this billing section here, so if you click the tools and settings and under billing, if you click summary, it's actually, we're going to have to go to settings here. Uh, but if you navigate here, there's this payment information as well as the card on file. So you're, you've got your name and address and phone number and everything, as well as the payment card on file. If those two things are the exact same in two different accounts, what Google Ads thinks is somebody stole your credit card information, cre created their own Google Ads account, and is now running ads on your credit card. <clears throat> so that's a huge red flag to Google. And, you know, Google, this huge multi-billion dollar company, doesn't want to take the risk that, you know, maybe your Google Ads account is legit. They would rather just shut you down, make you verify that everything's legit before moving on. The other real option is, at least from my knowledge, the other the other thing that could have happened is somebody legitimately stole your payment information, which in, in that case, you definitely want your ad account, that ad account to be suspended so that somebody doesn't run up a huge bill on your credit card. So those would be the first two things to check. Come into the back end of your Google Ads account, go to the billing summary and settings and check what card you have on file. If it's the same card, excuse me, if it's the same card and billing address and everything is the exact same, in two different accounts, then that's most likely what caused the issue. In which case, all you need to do is uh, reach out to their support team. So you can contact their support here. They'll have you fill out a reinstatement request form. And when you do that, what I would suggest is attaching a copy of the statement balance for your credit card that had the payment on it. And then in that uh, reinstatement form just attach that and say hey I've attached the card so you can see this is my card and you can see that the, the payment was processed on whatever day and then they'll have the payment um, transaction number through here and then also let them know that you're using multiple Google Ads accounts for different businesses if that's what you're doing which is totally fine uh, Google just needs to verify that it is actually you using two different accounts with the same billing information it's technically not a violation of their terms of service or their policies or anything um, but they just, you know, there's basically algorithms that see this information duplicated in two accounts and it sets off this red flag and they automatically suspend your account before even, before anyone even looks at it. So <laughs> don't get too terrified if you do see this. Um, there's certainly ways to help, um, Google understand that this was not suspicious payment activity if indeed it was not. So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of you know, suspicious payment activities in your Google Ads account or getting your Google Ads account unsuspended, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And if you do want some professional help with your Google Ads, don't hesitate to reach out. You can uh, check out my, my website in the uh, description. I'll leave a link there. And until next time, take care.